Bacon. Bacon, stay on, baby. Sweet Jesus, stay on. Because a Neely Hender fish lives shallow his whole life. Bacon. I'm often asked a lot of times about buzzbait fishing because you know people know I love to throw it and I had a great tournament on Neely Henry this year and they, they the question is a lot of like do you throw a skirted buzzbait or where did skirted where did this skirted buzzbait go because it seems like it just kind of faded out. Well, let me give you a reason why that happened. It's not saying that you can't still catch one on a skirted buzzbait, but so many people went to these type of setup. This is the buzzbait I throw a lot. It's just the, the Zoom Z Crawl Junior on there. It's got the swim legs on it. It's got a lot of swimming action. And the reason people went to this is because of the way it cast. You have the ability to skip it, throw it into the wind. That skirt catches a lot of wind. Whew. So it doesn't throw as well as what this does. And I have the ability to change the colors on it. You see, I got three white ones out here with a red head and silver blade. I'm not saying that that works. I'm just saying that'd be a pretty good idea if I pulled them three out from under the lid, that that's the color I throw a lot. But you, you can, really look like a shad on the surface running with that, those legs kicking. It's a pretty small profile. I've found that you don't miss as many fish on this setup. A lot of guys will say, do you throw a trailer hook? Hardly ever. If you throw a small trailer hook, it's gonna entangle up in the legs and you're gonna seem to fight it more than you do. Uh, I think for key for me for a buzz bait is throwing it on the right rod. So like when I throw this type setup, I just throw it on a seven, three medium heavy 13 rod. It's seven foot three medium heavy, but it's a soft medium heavy. I throw it on fluorocarbon. I want a little give in this system. I don't want to throw this on brave where my reflexes can jerk the bait away from a fish. So the answer to the, the coffee shop question is where do skirted buzz baits go? I guess they went in the sail bin because now everybody throws plastics, whether it's a horny toad or a zoom Z crawl or the bait of your choice. It could even be, it could even be a small shad like this. You could put a shad on there which is what a lot of guys do up at Gunnersville in the fall when they start chasing shad, you put small swim baits on there. The versatility of the unskirted buzz bait, to me, is what sets it apart from everything else. So there you go. Skirt or no skirt, I like my women with no skirt. Can I say that on Bassmaster? That sounded really bad. I like mine with a frog on it. <laughs>